Okay, so I'm sure you saw the video yesterday where I was on the podcast with Actually Agents. That was actually filmed about three weeks ago or so where I was really contemplating my space here, my actual direction, what I really want out of life, so on and so forth. So I wanted to post that for you just so you knew where I was at mentally, okay? And, and to give you an idea of what I'm thinking and the fact that I want to go bigger and I want to grow as a person. I felt like I was really stagnant. I'm going to link that video from yesterday below if you missed it, okay? And I want to tell you today, about three weeks after the recording of that, I have a lot of clarity on what direction I'm going with several things. I'm still working a lot of things out, but I wanted to fill you in um, just to basically you know, hold myself accountable, put put it right here and let you hold me accountable. And also want to somewhat in a way document my journey here as I create videos and post these little segments of different Zoom calls I'm on and podcasts the way that I'm doing. I'm actually articulating what's going on in my mind on a lot of these different videos. And as time goes on and I grow as a person and as a leader um, and start to do different things in the industry and see different things in the industry, those things are going to be right there on those podcasts and those little Zoom call segments and so on and so forth. So let me dive in here. This is very exciting. I'm, I'm extremely uh, happy about what 2022 is looking like because honestly, about a month ago, I had no idea really. I was just kind of, you know, flowing with the wind here uh, with really no direction, really not looking at where I really want to be next year and also looking at five and 10 years down the road. Um, I was really, I'm really in a place where um, making so much off of other things outside of my personal residential real estate sales, you know, that has come to a point where it's like, why am I doing this? Why am I doing the residential sales? And I didn't really have a plan there for how, how I would pass that off, what I would do uh, with that. If I was just going to let it go um, and just give it to an agent and let them pay me referral fees or how I was really going to handle that situation. And I really wasn't worried about it because here I am, you know, making two, three, four times as much on other things. It's like, why would I care? Okay. But at the end of the day, what I'm realizing is that I have a massive real estate business and an incredible brand locally. Why am I just going to throw all this away? So here's my structure moving forward. And I'm just being candid with you guys. I'm just being completely upfront, honest, and telling you exactly what I'm going to do because you guys know I don't hold back with sharing what I know, what I think, how I would handle certain situations. I'm here to help you and do everything I can do to help you build your business and create a better life and be happy for free. I never want to charge you guys a dime for any of this stuff. So moving forward, my plan is this, and trust me, I've thought about this really long and hard about what direction I'm going to go, how I'm going to do this, and this is all very strategic, let me just say. But I'm going to develop a local team to take over my residential sales business. Okay, that's number one. I'm also going to, what I plan on doing is combining my and my father's business, which are two separate single agent businesses right now. I wanna combine the two and I wanna create a team to handle all of our business. All right, and so combined, we're doing about 50, 60 million a year. So I've actually been in contact with and am working with outside counsel and consultants on building this team the right way. People who have helped other agents build billion dollar teams, they have the system down, they know exactly step by step how to do this. So I'm gonna do this right the first time where there's no questions asked. I'm gonna put the pieces of the puzzle in place to build this team and I wanna take it from 50 to 100 million. Now next year, the goal is not 100 million, the goal is to have the team in place and the goal is to hit the same numbers we hit this year, okay, without actually being in the business, just running the business, managing the business and running the team. 2023, the goal will be $100 million in sales. So you guys know I'm not big on teams, building teams, 
teams and being part of a team. However, when I weigh the options of just throwing away the real estate business that I've built for the last 20 years to you know, building a team and doing it the right way around people who have successfully built incredibly productive teams, one key point I think that I have a huge advantage is I've already built my business and I already have thousands of people in my database who want to do business with me. So I don't have to go out there and buy leads for my team. I already have the database. I just need someone to cultivate. If I had somebody actually doing what they're supposed to do with the database, cultivating, sending Christmas gifts, checking on them, um, following up, doing all those things, easily could double the business. However, I'm doing a weekly email, passively closing 100 deals a year as a single agent, and that's great, but I'm out here building other businesses, not really putting too much effort into my sales business, which could actually double in volume if I had someone doing that and doing it right. So I'm 100% I'm committed to building that machine, putting that in place, and then raising the bar. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do differently. The second thing is I'm gonna go out there and learn how to become an incredible commercial agent. Yes, that is right. I have neglected commercial and honestly, I sat back and I say, why haven't I thought about this before? I have the contacts, I, I have so much influence in the industry. Why have I not tapped into the commercial side of things like I see some of these other guys doing and I believe that I can do it in a very, very big way. So I'm actually consulting with a mentor in that department as well, a guy who has sold billions of dollars in commercial real estate. I mean, this guy sells $100 million properties and I've already had several conversations and learned so much and I can see where I will fit in beautifully in the commercial um, side of the real estate industry. Now, my goal with the commercial side of this is, of course, all this at this point is bonus. So I'm gonna get out there and I wanna learn the commercial side of things. I wanna learn how to uh, analyze deals better. I'm gonna learn how to find the buyers, find the sellers, do a lot of these off-market deals. And I also want to increase my knowledge uh, of that entire process because I want to get into not only brokering these deals, but buying these properties. And I already have several partners in place to go out and buy some of these commercial properties. And that, that partnership is going to continue to grow. And I'm also going to be able to do so many other things once I have the inside connection on these great commercial deals. And as the market changes moving forward, you know, things are gonna open up in the commercial uh, world as well. That's another thing that I'm foreseeing is that there's a huge opportunity as prices have went so crazy, okay? Things are going to go up and down, up and down, right? And I believe we're at a high and we could go much higher and we could go higher for several years, but sooner or later, things are gonna come down. Inventory is going to rise and not only residential, but commercial, and it's gonna be, now, there's gonna be plenty of incredible deals out there to snag, and I wanna be in the best position possible. So I'm in a situation where I could build this $100 million uh, real estate residential sales team and also get out here and put myself in an incredible position in the commercial world so that I can broker and buy these properties. Another big move that I'm making right now is zerodiamond.com. Zerodiamond.com is going to cease to exist the way that you know it. It will be replaced by a new platform Form. Zero to Diamond.com will be a social media platform and free coaching program for real estate agents. You will literally be able to go to zero to Diamond.com, create a profile, post on your wall, tag people, DM people, create groups, the whole nine yards, and there'll be a new 60 day challenge attached. The 90 day action plan where it is now will be no longer. It will be replaced by a 60 day challenge, which I'm in the middle of creating right now. And I'm putting a lot into it. And I wanna make this the very best place for real estate agents to get out there and learn what they need to do next in the business to take their, their business and life to the next level. This is gonna be catered towards brand new agents, part-time agents, experienced agents, team leaders and brokers. Um, no matter where you are in, in the stage of your career, I want this to be a one-stop shop where you can go and you know exactly what to do to take your business to the next level. So I'm really excited about the direction of Zero to Diamond 2.0, I'm gonna call it, where we're also gonna be providing free one-on-one -on -one coaching. 
I'm gonna have certified zero to diamond accountability coaches, and we're gonna be able to take on a certain number of agents every quarter to work them through the 60 day challenge, one on one for free. So be on the lookout for that as I launch this new zero to diamond platform. December 17th, 4 p.m. Central, I'm gonna be live right here on YouTube as well as my other social channels. The biggest thing that, that kind of trumps everything that I've talked about so far is the fact that if you listen to the video from yesterday that again I'll link below, I talk about the fact that I just feel like I haven't grown as a person over the last year or so because I've just been kind of you know, riding out this platform that I've built. And it's been great because, you know, all kinds of deals are coming in, agents are coming in, everything's happening, and there's a lot of money being made. And that's wonderful and everything. But I've become a little complacent. I don't feel like I've grown very much. I've grown a little bit, but not the, to the level that I need to, to keep up with the leadership role that I'm taking on. I'm in a position I've never been in before. And so as more of a leadership position, I have to grow myself and transform myself into a better leader and the only way to do that uh, by, by leading people and helping people is to improve myself and so through that I've picked up books again and I'm reading like crazy I'm reading every single day I'm journaling and I'm, I'm learning a lot and I'm so glad that I've finally decided to do this again you guys know I read a hundred books back when I lost everything in the crash and it literally took me ten years Okay, to, to execute on everything I learned in those hundred books. You know, I didn't read anything for those 10 years because I was so busy executing everything that I learned within those books. However, I feel like I've ran dry with my execution on what I learned in those books and it's time to take it up another notch. And there's always a higher level. So I've learned a lot. I wanna get into all the different things that I've learned so far uh, in the books, but I can tell you it's a massive amount of just little things that I'm picking up that I'm applying to my daily life, my daily routine, routine, my weekly, yearly, monthly routines that are going to make a massive difference over the next coming years and even decades. I'll give you a little teaser on 2022. I'm creating a challenge. It's called 22 and 22. I want everyone to read 22 books in 2022. And I'm actually reading four books right now. I read about three or four books at a time. Okay, I know that kind of sounds crazy, but that, that's how I do it. I read several books at the same time. I pick out a handful of books that I'm really interested in, and I read them all simultaneously. So I wanted to share with you the four books that I'm reading right now, just so you know. I plan on being through. I've already mapped it out where if I read so many chapters per day and all that, that I'll be done reading these four books at the end of January. And then I'm going to pick out four more that I plan on reading between uh, then and the 1st of April. So the first book is called Elevate. Push Push Yourself Beyond Limits and Unlock Success in Yourself and Others by Robert Glazer. Um, this is an incredible book. It talks about capacity, right? Mental capacity, physical capacity, spiritual capacity, and intellectual capacity, and being able to expand your capacity of what you can handle. Okay, super, super incredible. The next one is 12 Lessons in Business Leadership, Insights from the Championship Career of Tom Brady. Okay, this is incredible because it takes Tom Brady's mindset with his football team and being a leader there to the business world. Okay, incredible, incredible book. I can't say enough about these books. The next one is How to Lead Wisdom from Our World's Greatest CEOs, Founders, and Game Changers. This guy, David, um, his last name is, is Rubenstein. This guy interviewed some of the top people, you know, ever, you know, in our era, and he literally transcribes the um, the the interviews here in this book. So it's Oprah, it's Bill Gates, it's uh, Warren Buffett, it's, it's Jeff Bezos, it's Robert Kiyosaki. It, it's it's a lot of people. This is incredible because it makes you feel like you're there in the room, you know, listening to these questions, listening to how these leaders answer the questions. It's really incredible, and I've gotten so much out of it so far, and I'm excited to continue and read about some of these people. And this is one of my favorites of my new, this new round of reading, right? And it's called BE 2.0. All right, and it's the revision is the revision of Beyond Entrepreneurship by Jeff Collins. Jeff Collins wrote Good to Great and several other incredible business books, um, but this one is very very insightful. Um, you know, not only for big business but small business. It's just all the principles and everything that embodies a great business. 
right? and the way that you need to think about things as you're building your teams and building your empires and how to handle this, how to handle that. Incredible insight. So I wanted to share those four books with you to let you know what books I'm reading going into the new year. I'm excited to finish them and pick out four more and keep this thing going. But anyway, this is kind of like a you know, a video to, to kind of uh, let you know that I'm changing directions here and I'm still going to continue to post the same type of content here, uh, but you're going to find that some of the content is going to change, you know, as we get through a lot of the older content where we get to the newer content where I'm talking on podcasts more about, you know, this new direction and what I'm doing and, and how I'm doing it. So, um, I appreciate you guys, uh, support so far and following the journey and the best is yet to come. I can't tell you how excited I am. So shoot me a comment below. Let me know what you think about all this. I would love to hear your thoughts and uh, let me know, of course, what I can do to help you. I'm always here to help. Talk to you guys soon.